Today we will explore some advanced LEGO concepts. Prepare yourself for some intense snot. So, snot, as you probably guessed, stands for studs not on top. This is pretty much building on the side of things. So there are several reasons to do this. One is smooth, studless sides, like on my snow speeder. And another is attach things to those sides, as it is on my Imperial Troop Transport. Anytime the studs are not on top, really, it's studs not on top. Hence, the name. LEGO has made several pieces just for building like this, as they use it in their sets too. The first class is brackets. Here we have the headlight brick, the Travis brick, and this brick. Some are thinner like this modified 1x2 plate, or this one. Another class is using Technic to create studs not on top. And one might also say hinges are another type. So this doesn't sound like a technique you're probably asking yourself. But this is where the last episode comes in handy. If you remember, all LEGO bricks are measured in LEGO meters, a 1x1 being 5x6 LEGO meters. What we are going to look at is how some of these snot pieces fit together, starting with the headlight brick. So this brick has a stud engraved and a receptor in the back. In LEGO meters, it measures 4x6, but it has this one LEGO meter shelf jutting out. So since it goes in a little bit, here's what you can do. Create an interesting flower out of all four. Or you can use two plates and one tile to equal 10 Lego meters. That's the same as a two stud length. But this brick, you have a flat surface, no shelf. When you add two plates and a tile, it equals 11, more than two studs. But since studs are one Lego meter, not two, and you take off the tile, it will go down to 10, making it just barely fit. When you have these plates, it juts out a little too much to be perfectly equal unless you do some extensive math. But this one comes in 1 by 5, 1.5, which can do some interesting things. When we look at some of my builds, such as the snow speeder, we see a lot of snot. Here we can see the use of pins to give it about half a Lego meter more, and the use of mini headlight bricks. So too can we see it here on my land speeder, using some interesting measurements to take bricks and make stripes. Now, snot is really, really cool and creates great effects, but you can't me memorize all the measurements and get connections right the first time. I recommend instead you mess around for a while and think about measurements and eventually you'll figure it out. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I hope that you definitely learned something about snot. I hope that you can use this in your own builds and maybe see examples of where Lego meters are actually applied. If you liked this video, please do like and subscribe. This has been Star Bricks.